guys, my name's Chris, and I'm on a journey to hear every song ever recorded. And we are taking another look at this anti-flag uh, controversy that's been going around. We do have statements made from the band and separately from Just Insane, and we're going to be reading those right now, and we're going to talk about it a little bit. Pathetic Chris number two Barker and Chris Head made a statement okay now I am Chris number three if you if you are a Chris you realize that if you're out in the world you do have to have a number system because there's a lot of Chris's in the world and there were a lot of Chris's in anti-flag but let's look at their statements now this is the official statement from three quarters of the band a core tenet of the band anti-flag is to listen to and believe all survivors of violence and abuse. The recent allegations about Justin are in direct contradiction to that tenant. Therefore, we felt the only immediate option was to disband. We have been shocked, confused, saddened, and absolutely heartbroken from the moment we heard these allegations. While we believe this is extremely serious, in the last 30 years, we have never seen Justin be violent or aggressive towards women. This experience has shaken us to the core. We understand and apologize that this response may not have been as quick enough for some people. This is new territory for all of us and it is taking time for us to process the situation. It was a privilege for us to be in the band Anti-Flag. As we seek to find our path forward, we wish healing to all survivors. And that is the statement. So a lot of people, you know, when this all broke the other day, the assumption was that just insane shut down all the social media accounts. That just insane just wanted to get away and, and just escape reality and just never address this. It was the band. It was the other three guys that decided we can't be in this band anymore uh, because of the situation. Now, let's go over and look at the front man's, uh, what he had to say. This is Justin Sane's statements. Okay, we're starting the quote now. Recently, there have been claims of assault made against me, and I can tell you that these stories are categorically false. And we're going to talk about categorically in a minute. I have never engaged in a relationship that was not consensual, nor have I been approached by a woman after an encounter and been told I had in any way acted without her consent or violated her in any way. Now that I have had a few days to absorb the initial shock, I am making this statement to set the record straight. Assault is real and has devastating effects on victims. I have devoted my entire adult life to standing up for these victims, as well as those suffering oppression, inequality, those who are victimized, demeaned, or abused. I have always been and will always be that person. The statements being told about me are the antithesis of what I believe and how I have conducted myself throughout my life. In regard to anti-flag disbanding, as a band, the decision was made that under these circumstances, it would not be possible to continue. That part is crazy to me. I want to thank my family and friends and the many, many fans, musicians and bands who have reached out to me to offer their support and help that part is just crazy to me that the allegations are being denied. He's saying he did not do it, but the band cannot continue because he was wrongly accused of something. 
I don't understand that part, guys. How can that be? If he's innocent, why is this happening? I don't understand that part. I don't understand it one bit. But it's it sounds like the other three members just like I guess because there is a doubt, like we we don't know. Like only Oh, like it was it's it's between her word and his word and we don't know we we do not know so i guess maybe it's just the band have decided just in case kind of a pun intended there just in case just insane did do this um you think he would take a lie detector test or do you think she would um would that would that be wrong for either one of them to do it or both of them you know maybe you know i mean people people are everybody's a scumbag that's kind of my philosophy in life everybody's a scumbag everybody everybody on this planet could be canceled uh if people knew what you were doing right now not not to this level you know people aren't out doing this kind of stuff but everybody's a scumbag and uh I just that that bothers me that if he's denying it, I, I just don't know why the band could not, you know, maybe take some time off and figure out what to do. But I, you know, I, I think it has to do with uh, with the, the culture of cancel that we have, and I, you know, maybe there's like a a group of people, and maybe they are, you know, they think that they are right. But I, I don't know. But that's what the band is saying. That's the um, Justin Sane is denying all of this, and the other three guys just they can't work with them anymore. So it's it's a bad situation. It's a bad, tough situation. And uh, man, I I wish I wish only positive things for. I don't know. I, I don't know. I, I wish all the best for anti-flag fans. Um, I hope, I wish all the best for, for all the fans of anti-flag. That's all I can, you know, I don't want to, it's just impossible for us to say. We can't, you don't want to wrongly accuse an innocent man, but you don't want to let somebody get away with this, you know. And and apparently, you know, whoever it was that she was talking about, they got away with it. And uh, that's that's pretty unfortunate. I think, you know, I know it's really tough, but the authorities should have been made aware of this immediately, like that night, and they weren't, and that sucks. And Maybe that's what we all need to learn from this is, man, you know, it, it doesn't sound very punk rock, but man, call, call, or call somebody. If you don't want to call the cops, call somebody and tell them what happened to you, man. But don't wait for the podcast. Don't wait until it's over. And, and I know that maybe self-defense was, was tried. I, I don't know. Get help. If, if you need help, get help. Get help from who you feel comfortable getting help with. This is just a terrible situation. And uh, I'm going to start checking out the side projects of Anti-Flag. And uh, maybe, you know, look into, uh, you know, maybe being a fan of that. If, if, it's, uh, if it's worth my time and effort.